And then our input signal is applied to a capacitor through something called a MOSFET transistor. So the audio signal, you know, it's just going to look something like this, whatever. That could be a vocal, that could be a guitar. With an audio signal, we have zero volts is in the middle. Uh, we'll say like two volts, and we'll say minus two volts. That's typically what an audio signal looks like. So what happens is this audio signal is um, buffered and then compressed by the H910's uh, DBX card, and it is then given uh, a DC offset. Now, the, the point of a DC offset is so that we're not working below ground anymore. It's given a DC offset so that our converter where the you know the capacitor instantaneously charges to a maximum of a reference voltage which we'll get there it's not going to discharge below ground it can't so what it's going to do is it's going to charge all the way up to the reference voltage which is v ref and that reference voltage in the h910 is six volts so our audio is now going to look like this right now we have about four volts peak to peak so our audio on a new graph, oh, why did I choose this waveform? Our audio is now gonna be like, that's honestly not that bad. It's gonna be at zero volts, and then six volts is up here, and then we're gonna say four volts is up here. So our audio swings between zero volts and four volts. So the audio is applied to a very fast MOSFET transistor when the transistor is on, it will charge the capacitor with um, you know, this voltage right here, which happens to be four volts. When the transistor is off, the capacitor will discharge. This will happen 33,500 times a second. And as the capacitor discharges, that discharge capacitor signal is applied to one input of a comparator, and the comparator receives a pulse of 33.5 kilohertz that is derived from the top board. So we'll get there.